Hey, what's up? It's JJ. Welcome to another episode of Free Magic Live. In today's How To Magic Monday video, I'm going to be doing the magic trick. That's right, I'm back. I'm going to be doing something with a pack of cards and someone's mind. I'm going to read their mind. Check this out. You guys watch YouTube? Yeah, yeah do you? Yeah. Jay, how you doing? Bad. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, say so what's up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, Isaac. Isaac and Levi. Levi. Nice to meet you, but Isaac and Levi, that's funny. I have two people who work with me on the Free Magic Live channel, like Isaac and Levi. So, what's up, guys? Alright, so quick question. You guys, how many cards? That's pretty cool. Well, I'll do it again. Ready? Boom! Okay. Alright, you shall <laughs> Good work, man. Hey, let's, let's try this. Um, I want to try, um, have you ever been to a, a psychic before? No. No, okay. Would you ever go to a psychic? No, not really. No, I'm not really into them. You know, I'm not, I, don't I don't believe them, you know? But I'm going to try and get in your mind right now. Say stop. Take the card, don't show me. Show your friend, show the camera live. Okay, you've done that. Once you've done that, put the card back in the deck wherever you want, guys. Okay. Remember it. Place the card back wherever you want in the deck. Now this is the most important part, Aaron, of the whole thing. Hold on to it. I want you to think of that card, okay? I want you to, to see it right here. First thing, I want you to see the color of the card right here. It's right here. The color's gonna be right here. Think of the color now. It's red, isn't it? Is it red? Yeah, yeah okay, all right. What, what else? So yeah, yeah, don't give me too much credit. All right. Um, <laughs> Think of the, think of the suit. It's a hearts or diamonds. You're thinking of it right here. Think of it. So the, so the hearts or diamonds. Think of the shape now. Okay. Uh, no, it's hearts, isn't it? All right. Good work. Good work. All right. Nice. All right. Here we go. Ready? Think of the number, or maybe it might be jacket in your case. Think of it right here. So you've got the color, you've got the suit, and you've got the number or the wrong card. Ready? Yes, it's a nine and a half. Is that the card? Nice. Thanks, brother. Cool, man. What's up? Nice. Cool, guys. Thanks for being part of the show. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the explanation of this trick. I'm calling it how to read someone's mind with a pack of cards. Now, I've done this throughout 10 years of my life doing magic. I do this all the time. What I love about this trick so much is I love the presentation. I love the build up. I love it. it's all about them. It's all about the, uh, the, the, basically really the presentation of this whole trick. It's never really about this, because all you knew, need to know is need to know the card. Now, all you're doing here, as most of you would have figured out, is it's all about just forcing a card or making someone choose a card. It looks like it's a random selection, but of course you're making them, uh, getting, you're forcing them the certain card. So, oh, I just, I think if you can learn one or two good forces, you can always have it up, the, uh, up your sleeve, every pun intended right there and you'll be able to, to dazzle and amaze and you'll be able to just know that sometimes when you want to take off the slide of hand element, when you want to make it all about your audience, which is very, very important, you can force the card and just really play up, think of the card, visualize it. So let's teach you. Now for all the people going, oh my gosh, JJ, your hair, you've changed your hair. Actually, I haven't. I'm just growing it for a certain project that I'm doing down in the future. So thanks to all the people who are my hairdressers on the channel and commenting about my hair. I appreciate it. So, okay. So this is how it's done, guys. Pack of cards. What you're doing is you're remembering the top card of the deck. All right. Now you can force the card however you want, but you're just, I'm remembering the top card of the deck. Then I'm doing something called the riffle force. The riffle force is this. Basically, you are cutting the cards in the middle of the deck. I used a swing cut, okay? Then you're holding a break here, and you're running your thumb down the side of the, the deck. Wherever they say stop, 
you're lifting up at the brake. That's basically it. Of course, there's a lot more to it than the Riffle Force, but all you need to do is learn a card force. And on this, on this video, there'll be a link of where you can learn a force, okay? So I run my thumb down the side of the deck, wherever they say stop, I cover it with my hands, lift up from the brake, and that will be, give them the card. Normal speed, it looks like this. I know the top card, cut the cards, do me a favor, say stop, stop, great, take the card out. You don't want to make this a big deal, okay? It should just be like, say stop, take the card, have a look. Okay, put the card back on the deck, remember the card. Now the card's are done. Now it's all about you and it's all about the spectator. So they remember the ten of diamonds. One thing, guys, that's really important is that you want them to get, you want them to remember the card. I did this trick, oh, I don't know, whatever, a couple of years ago, I remember, at a party, and I, I did the whole build up, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, your card was red. She's like, I forgot the card. So remember to make sure that they remember the card and tell them. Remember, the way you control your audience is very, very important because you want them to do the things that you want to control them in a, in, a, in a nice way, of course, but in a way that as you're the magician, as you're the performer, you want to make sure things don't go wrong. So I tell them to remember the card. Otherwise, sometimes people will see the card, they don't think about it. You know, you're filming, you're doing magic, and then there's so many things going on. So the 10 of diamonds was the card. That's it, you know the card, you can produce it however you want. Produce it in a sugar packet, produce it on your iPhone, produce it from your mouth, have it tattooed to your whole body. You can do Joe from Arrested Development. Josh, you've seen that, right? But he produces a card, like, like if you like Arrested Development, it's a good show. Um, so this is what I do. I say, I want you to think of the card. I go, I go a bit of Chris Angel on this. Like, I want you to think of the card. I want you to see it. See the color first. Let's look at the color and look in my eyes. It's red, isn't it? And you want to pace this slowly, build it up. You go, yeah, it's red. And you go, okay, now think of the suit. It's either hearts or diamonds, okay? Of course, if it's black, you go, um, you know, spades or clubs. It'll be hard for you to do the clubs. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be spades or clubs or something like that, whatever you want to do. And you go, okay, now think of the number. Could be either a number or a royal card. Think of it on the screen. Think of it on like a movie screen. Think of it right here, right in front of you. Think of it right now. You're captivating someone right now. You're drawing them into you. Then of course you know what the card is. Then you go. You build it up. You go. Look at my eyes. Ten of diamonds. And the way you build it up, you will get a reaction. They've totally forgot about this whole part of the cards right here, but it's the way the storyline of how you build it up. And you get them into, and trap them into your story, and then you drop the card, 10 of diamonds, and they're impressed. So that's it. There's really no, nothing else about it. It's a simple, simple trick. But to them, it's very impressive. And they're gonna go tell their friends, they're gonna go tell their friends at school, tell the girl they like, tell the mum or dad, and they're gonna tell their, um, they're gonna share the experience that they got from you. So, put the time into learning a good force. Go out, practice it. Fail it a couple of times. It's hard to fail it, really. Even my cameraman who doesn't know anything about magic could learn this, okay? And it's all about how you present it. You have to get out of the house and do this. Don't sit in your room and do magic. It's about experiencing, connecting and sharing with people. So that's it. So if you want to learn some cool new tricks, I know you do, card tricks, coin tricks, everyday tricks. I've done tricks at coffee shops, I've done tricks out at restaurants, I've done tricks at parties. All you have to do is like us on Facebook firstly, facebook.com forward slash free magic live. Also, if you want to get some tricks sent to your email inbox, which is cool as well, go to freemagiclive.com and then put your name and email in there and I'll send you some stuff. Also like us on, uh, actually subscribe to us right down here on YouTube and that's gonna give you VIP access to the channel. So when we bring a new video out like this one, you're gonna get the email, you're gonna get an email or a pop-up in YouTube saying, hey, guess what? Free Magic Live videos, this is a new video and you can click it, learn it for anyone else in the world. So that's it. Share it to your friends, practice it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. One more thing too guys, tell me what you think of the video. Put your comments down here. I do read them all. I do have a look at them. I may not comment to every single one, um, but I do read them all. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. See you in the next video.